What's going on, you bunch of pale addicts? Nick Daniels here, coming out to Live Man yet again, and today we're just bringing folks another quick video, uh, but this is just going to be a quick uh, two, three minute video on how to spot a fake account. Um, so I've done this one before, but I recently got a fake account on uh, Tinder that I wanted to discuss, and I might put some screenshots up, I might not, of uh, just some things to look out for when people often ask me, well, how, how, do, you, how do you avoid that? Um, also, just rock in the chest, by the way, just that's, that's a straight chest, uh, the no shirt there. Just so you know. Um, so, man, so I got this match the other day. Yeah, so like I said, it's just, it's like I got it on my phone here. Um, and right away, you could tell something was askew. So there, there's always a couple things I look out for very, like, very quickly. Um, and, I mean, this is just looking at the fake female accounts, which usually just bought you for an OnlyFans or something like that. So the first thing is they usually only have one picture. Um, very likely that one picture will also be, like, really low quality. So just a low resolution. Um, and you can just generally tell that it doesn't look really good. Um, you know, it could be a screenshot. That's always a red flag if you if you can tell it's a screenshot. Um, like if it doesn't look like an authentic photo to some degree. Um, normally how you can tell by that too, you'll see like outline, like you'll see something that you'll know what I mean. Um, how they've kind of taken a screenshot, whether that be from like say someone's like Facebook or something like that. You can tell. Uh, like I said, if the, if the quality of the photo is extremely poor, um... You know, or if there's like two or three and they're all really poor, uh, most people nowadays have some way to get a high, high, you know, any high definition photo. That's it's there's no excuse. Uh, and if there's just the one photo and it meets all those criteria, you're like not one of these single handedly will tell you it's a fake account, but they will lean you in the direction to believe it's a fake account. Um, the second one, and it sounds as funny as it is, uh, if she's like way too good looking. Like if it's like this amazing looking woman in a dress that's just flowing and you're like, there's no way like she, and, and she's messaging you first, like all that stuff, fake account. Um, and if everything like adds on from what I'm saying, so if it's like one picture, she's way too good looking, the photo's low quality, she's messaged you first, it just adds on, okay? Uh, the next the next point I want to make is the no profile. So what that really means um, in a nutshell is that there's no bio. There's no nothing. There's nothing filled out. It would look like there was literally the most lowest amount of effort put into it. Um, so again, like one picture, no quality, you know, yada, yada, yada. Nothing filled out on the profile. Just bare bones, one photo. Okay. Fake account. If they message you first, it's obviously that doesn't know. That's not always a teller. Uh, but if they message you first, and when you're talking, the messages don't seem coherent to the conversation. They don't seem consistent. So, for example, um, you know, what do you do for work? And she's like, I'm great. How are you? Right? Those are. It's just a weird answer to get from my question. My question is very straightforward and easy to understand. Her answer doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to what I've asked her. Um, so again, in those situations too, fake account. So what you can do to rule those out in those situations is get her to ask, answer something very specific. Don't say, hey, how are you doing? Because it's botted to respond, you know? Say like, hey, listen, you know, um, you know, so many fake accounts out there nowadays. Just say orange for me, would you? You know? And there's a chance she might say orange and it might be a guy behind there too. You don't know. Um, but I guarantee you, like I, I had this one. I was like, hey, what do you do for work? No answer. And then before that, when we were talking, all the messages seemed really off. So I started getting very specific in my questions, right? What do you do for work? Hey, where do you live? You know, like, or, you know, are you in this city? You know, stuff like that, right? And you and you, you try to get those specific questions, guaranteed they, they, they go. Obviously, the one that always gets you too is when they start asking for a number, when they start asking for... Uh, like you to check out, to communicate off the app very, very quickly. And like, you're a little uncomfortable with that. It's a fake account. If they give you like a link to do anything, don't click it. Um, a lot of the times how you'll see that is, Hey, I'm not really on Tinder very often. Do you want to use WhatsApp? You know, something like that to try to get you off the application. It, it's always how that's going to go. Um, and you're always going to get roped in, um, to something. Sometimes it is good just to kind of like, if it is someone like, like actually typing all that shit to go waste their time. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, anyway, so just a quick one. I wanted to run through some things. I mean, I've talked about this stuff before, but I think it's interesting to always keep coming back and mentioning, you know, Hey, fake accounts, they're still out there. They're in droves. They're coming at you. What's the best way to get around that? What's the best way to like mitigate that and see, okay, like how can I get around these and avoid these accounts? That's the best way. Spot them, get rid of them. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy. Dick Daniels.
Peace. Thanks for watching, you pencil pushers. If you guys want to check out my Instagram here, I've just got it in the background. It's Nick Daniels Photography with an underscore in between each word where I uh, post every day. That's a lie. Thanks for watching. Peace.